The past few months have been good to archaeologists. It's been a time of exciting discoveries and amazing revelations, teaching us more about the history of our planet and the people who lived on it long before us. We've got a roundup of the latest and greatest archaeological discoveries for you in this video, and we're going to get started right now. We're starting with a beautiful gold bracelet that was discovered accidentally by a farmer plowing his field in the Turkish village of Sitli in March 2022. The bracelet is around 3,300 years old and is the first artifact of its kind ever to be discovered with figural depictions on its surface. On top of that, it's also the first Hittite bracelet ever to be discovered with an elliptical bezel. The shape is known to have been important to the Hittites, but has only previously been seen in their ring seals. We're fortunate that the bracelet survived its encounter with the farming equipment, which left it dented and damaged. It's already undergone some preservation and repair work and will undergo a little more before it's placed on display inside the Corum Archaeological Museum. Enough repair work has been done to determine that the figure at the center of the relief is the goddess Ishtar although the precise meaning or significance of the scene is unknown. Archaeologists carried out an extensive excavation of the field it was found in, but no other artifacts were discovered. So the bracelet's presence in the field is unexplained. Our next discovery isn't as much a true discovery as it is a re-evaluation of something archaeologists and historians have known about for a long time. Just off the western coast of Sicily is the island of Motya, and on Motya is an ancient monumental basin. Ever since its discovery many years ago, experts thought the basin was a Phoenician harbor. That opinion has recently changed. It's now thought to have been a sacred freshwater pool. The island has a long history of human settlement dating back to the Bronze Age, with the Phoenicians arriving here roughly 2,800 years ago. It quickly became an important port for early Mediterranean trade networks, but was attacked and destroyed by the Carthaginians 2,600 years ago. It was they who then rebuilt Matya from the ground up, including an enormous defensive wall, two enormous religious complexes, and the sacred pool. The clue that the pool had religious significance is the recent discovery of a temple of Baal very close to the basin. The temple remained in use for more than two centuries before being destroyed for unknown reasons about 2,300 years ago. It wasn't uncommon for our ancient ancestors to cremate the remains of their loved ones and place them inside funerary urns. But it's rare for them to find an urn burial like the one that was discovered in France in March 2022. Archaeologists at the site spent the month unearthing 15 first-century tombs ahead of the planned construction of a new school. 14 of the burials are unremarkable, but the 15th is one urn placed inside another, like a Russian doll. It's possible that the urn in urn burial means the person inside the second urn had special significance. But all scientists have been able to say about them thus far is that they were male and roughly 20 years old. Their remains were placed inside a lead urn, which was then in turn placed inside a large round stone urn with a stone lid. Archaeologists have seen burials like this before, but they're uncommon, and their significance remains unknown. Maybe whoever buried this young man wanted to ensure nobody tampered with his remains. Or perhaps they wanted to be doubly sure that what was inside the urn would never find its way back out again. April 2020 was a busy time for archaeologists in the city of Suffolk, Virginia, USA, as they sought to excavate more than a dozen old boats and ships at the bottom of the Nansamond River. The boats had been hidden in plain sight for years and have come to be known as the Ghost Fleet of Suffolk. Parts of the boats have always been visible to the naked eye, but the number of vessels didn't become clear until a photo was taken from above using a drone camera in 2018. There's no pattern to the boats. Some are large and some are small, and they served various purposes from basic transportation to oystering and shingling. The oldest of them has been dated to the American Civil War of the 1860s. 
with the most recent having sunk somewhere around the time of the First World War. Local history experts say there was an oyster house and a small dock here a little over a century ago, so that may explain why there are so many wrecks in one place. The area is private property today, so while the boats are available to be studied, they'll never be removed. Back on the topic of more recent discoveries, a stunning one-of-a-kind golden neck ring was found in Denmark in March 2022. The beautiful piece of jewelry is thought to date to the Germanic Iron Age of the 4th and 5th centuries and is one of the heaviest artifacts of its kind ever found, with a weight of just under 500 grams. The piece is made from a single piece of gold folded over itself multiple times to make a ring shape with the addition of a further plate of gold soldered to the back to create a space for further decorations to be added. Individual threads of gold have been plated along the length of the necklace to make a chevron pattern. Although there's also a spiral twist of gold wire running through the middle. Neck rings like this have been found in Denmark before, but they're usually found in wetlands where they were left behind as votive offerings. This one is different because it appears to have been buried inside a longhouse rather than being left behind as a votive offering. It may have been buried by its owner to keep it safe from robbers. Returning to the topic of old boats, a surprising boat discovery was made on the River Foyle in Northern Ireland in March 2022. Two boats dating back to the medieval era were found in the river when waters receded during an unusually dry period in the region. Boats like this are known as dugout boats or log boats and they're not the first to be found in the river. In fact, the discovery of this pair takes the number of ancient boats found in the river foil in recent years to 15. Based on their shape and size, experts think they were used as cargo ferry boats. They were basically the workhorses of their day, built for speed and maneuverability, but still strong enough to sail through a moderate current. Obtaining a precise date for the boats is difficult, but the best guess of the specialists who've looked at them is that they were dug out from single tree trunks during the 11th century. The river connects Strabane in Northern Ireland to Leaford in the Republic of Ireland and would have been an important trade route in the medieval era. If you were ever in trouble at school, your teacher might have punished you by forcing you to write lines. Bart Simpson has had to write lines at the beginning of every episode of The Simpsons. Recently, we found out that being forced to write lines is the most ancient of all the punishments handed out to naughty school children. More than 18,000 shards of inscribed pottery have been found at a dig site in the ancient Egyptian city of Athribis. The repetitive nature of the inscriptions has led experts to believe that they're the work of children being forced to write out the same thing again and again. Typical examples include lists of the months of the year, grammar exercises, mathematical equations, and a version of the alphabet where every letter was represented by a bird. The dullest of the punishments appears to have been to write the same one or two characters repeatedly on both the front and back of the shards. Presumably, that version of line writing was only handed out to the worst and most disruptive offenders. Inscribed pottery shards like this are called ostraca, and this is one of the biggest Astraca deposits ever found in the country. At the start of April 2022, 10-year-old George Henderson and his father Paul went out into a field in Woodbridge, Suffolk, England with their metal detectors. A few minutes into their search, George's instrument gave him a positive signal, and he dug up this incredibly rare 13th century seal matrix. He's already sold the 800-year-old artifact at auction, where it made just over $5,000. Relics like this were commonly used by priests as seals of authenticity. The image depicted on the seal is that of the Virgin Mary and child, along with a Latin inscription that identifies it as this seal of priory and convent of Butley of Adam, Canon Regular. The priory was found in the region in 1171 and Adam was its prior between the years of 1219 and 1235. The building was demolished in 1538. George's dad, Paul, says he's been scouring the fields of England with a metal detector for years, but has never found anything as valuable as the discovery made by his son 
on what was one of his first attempts at the hobby. Our ancient ancestors tried using all manner of things as offerings to the gods in the hopes of winning their favor. We know that the Aztecs often indulged in human sacrifice in the hope of pleasing or appeasing their gods, but not all of their offerings were quite so bloody. In March 2022, researchers at the site of Templo Mayor in Mexico City found a treasure trove of starfish that are believed to have been deposited as an offering to an Aztec war god during the early 16th century. There are 164 starfish at the site, along with pufferfish, seashells, and the remains of a jaguar with a spear in its claw. Experts say that the deposit is an offering to the great god Huitzilopochtli. That's the same god that the entire temple is dedicated to. Although Huitzilopochtli shares that billing with Tlaloc, the god of agriculture and rain. The temple was first built in 1325, but underwent extensive renovations at the end of the 15th century. These offerings might have been left at the end of that renovation phase. Spanish conquistador Hernan Cortes had the temple buried in 1519, after which it wasn't rediscovered by archaeologists until the 20th century. The Warring States period was a time of chaos in ancient China, beginning over 2,400 years ago and lasting more than two centuries. About 2,200 years ago, the embattled regional leaders of the country asked intellectuals to come up with a way of ending the constant state of war and built them somewhere to live, work, and come up with a solution. That place was the Jixi Academy in Xi. Historians have always been dubious about whether the academy really existed until February 2022, when the ruins of the institute were finally discovered in Shandong province. A combination of carbon dating and comparison to historical records has been used to verify the discovery. Now we found the institute, we might be able to discover more about who worked there and how long it stayed open. The current estimate is that it opened during the time of King Xuan of Xi in 319 BCE and remained in use for 150 years. Shen Dao is thought to have lived and worked here, as is Song Xing and the Confucian thinker and author of Sheng Zi, Sheng Kuang. Hopefully, all these theories can now be proven or discounted. Toward the end of March 2022, a tiny ancient curse tablet was found in the disputed territory of the West Bank. The folded lead tablet is barely the size of a postage stamp, but it might turn out to be the most important discovery in the region of generations. That's because it's described as an ancient early form of Hebrew and calls on God to curse somebody who's broken a promise. The subject matter is fairly typical of a curse tablet, but this might be the oldest known use of the Hebrew name of God. Tests are ongoing, but the tablet is thought to be around 3,200 years old. That would make it several hundred years older than the next oldest use of the name and a massive historical outlier. It's a basic inscription containing little more than the phrase cursed, cursed, cursed by the God of Yahweh, with the name Yahweh represented by the letters YHW. Scientific analysis of the lead's chemical isotopes suggests that it came from a mine in Greece and that the estimated date is accurate. But further testing and peer reviews will have to be carried out before the age can be confirmed. A few years ago, archaeologists digging through historical ruins in the northern Israeli town of Megiddo came across a stunning ancient mosaic. In fact, they think the mosaic is so important, they're going to move an entire prison to protect it. The stunning mosaic floor would have been a part of an early Christian prayer house when it was laid down during the 3rd century and is thought to be the oldest mosaic dedicated to Jesus Christ in all of Israel. The issue with attempting to protect the mosaic in its current location is that it's within the walls of a prison. Moving the mosaic isn't an option, so the prison is going to have to move instead. The decision was made after a long legal dispute, which was won by the Israeli Antiquities Authority in March 2022. The prison will be moved in the summer of 2022, after which archaeologists will gain better access to the site 
and may even be able to open it up to tourists in the future. Aside from its dedication to Christ, the mosaic bears the name of an army officer called Gaianos, along with four women, Carasta, Dorothea, Kiriaka, and Fremelia. Their connection to the mosaic is unknown, but it's possible they sponsored its creation. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.